Hello and welcome back to the Men's Roller Derby World Cup 2016 here in the CCO studio with Pandora Pandemonium. Just call me Panda. We are going to be live over on track two very shortly. Quick rundown of what's been going on there just over the past few hours. Uh, last game that we saw was Puerto Rico, Australia over on track two. Australia taking the win 309 to Puerto Rico's 10. Here on track one, which is where our studio is based, Currently, we see Wales taking on Canada. The score is the stands at the minute. It's crazy loud in here. 36 to Team Canada, 18 to Team Wales. Straight off the bat, it was a pretty even score. Um, we've seen Canada taking the lead at this point. So moving forward, anything can happen. We've seen great things from both of these teams here so far today. Moving on to track two, where we're going to head shortly. It's going to be Team France versus Team Netherlands. So uh, two games played today for each of these teams. Team France taking the win over Puerto Rico from 290 to 31. And the Netherlands lost to Team Australia, quite a huge loss. 342 plays three, so they're the biggest differential of the competition so far at 339 points. So this is gonna be an interesting game as we move into there. So the Netherlands are gonna be hoping to claw back some points and France are definitely gonna be looking for that win, but let's see what happens. We're gonna throw over to the track now. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to the Men's Roller Derby World Cup. Hit us up at mrdwc.com. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the 2016 Men's Roller Derby World Cup here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. My name is Champ Kind, And I am James Brown. And we are going to be bringing you France versus the Netherlands. France will be wearing blue, the Netherlands will be in black. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started by introducing the teams. I'm going to start off with the Netherlands right now. Number 03, Fairy Godfather. Number 1337, Slapsack. Number 22, Crystal Maiden. Number 3141, Mastermind. Number 333, Half Evil. Number 37, Lone Star. Number 43, Halogene. Number 52, Eupler. Number 585, Johnny B. Rude. Number 666, Nocturnal Damage. Number 747, Captain Borderline. Number 83, Nicholas Rage. And number 96, Anita. And for France, wearing the blue, we have number zero, Candel Eros. Number 00, zero Mirage. 087 Sangle Oku. Number 11 Scaranex. Number 1234 John Trouble Tish. Number 129 Rocket Bush. Number 13 Killian Cross. Number 1631 The Cleaner. Number 17 Spider Biscuit. Number 2000 Ass Hell Off. Number 223 Pooper Test. Number 789, Bruce Bullet. Number 951, Bernie No Help. And number 96, Freaky Vincent. I'm so glad you read that instead of me. You were way better at, the, at that. Yeah. The Netherlands, those names. Little, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a little more I, familiar with those. I used to watch Hello, Hello. Yeah. So I've got, all the, I've got all the pronunciations down. Well, France won the second game against Puerto Rico and also has won. Um, I mean, both teams have had wins today. Uh, so we're going to see, you know, this is going to be a close, I think this is going to be one of the closer games. This is yeah. going to be closer than the last one we yeah. saw here on the Sisu track, uh, track two. We've got the cleaner lining up against Upiler, Upiler, I'm sorry, Upiler for our first jam. Upiler trying to get in there, but the cleaner shoving his way through, and he will get through first for lead jammer. Scaronex and Kilian Cross looking to draw the track cut on Upiler. 
Yeah. Would you take him off again on the inside line, but now he makes his way to the penalty box. Great deflection there by the cleaner on turn one, getting through and picking up the five points, and the grand slam putting France on top first, five to nothing. Very early though, very early. The Netherlands, of course, still, you know, very good team as well. And now busting through the outside, he gets five more points for Team France, now into the double digits. Yeah, the cleaner really doing the business on this <laughs> roller derby athletics power jab. Absolutely. The cleaner now trying to split the middle of the pack, coming through, has his own blockers in front of him. Netherlands reforming, able to cut through. There he goes one more time, five points. But a track cut on the pivot who has, who, uh, yes, it was a star pass. I no, think it's no, a star stash. Star stash, like yes. Mikula has the star in his back pocket. He does. It's not capture the flag, you know, he can't just like, pull <laughs> it out of, out of his pocket. Four more points there for the cleaner. And France coming out with a commanding lead very early on. I may have been lying about this being close. <laughs> Anything can happen. We've still got 28 minutes and 22 seconds left. But Absolutely. definitely France looking to put their stamp on this game early on. Hey, France can put up 24 points in the first jam, but there's nothing that says the Netherlands can't do that on the next one. Exactly. Sangalo Ku putting on the star for the Netherlands. He's going up against Johnny B. Rude. Johnny B. Rude is going to get rid of his compliments and try to get that lead back for his team. Not an easy task. Netherlands defense is going to have to really kind of reform themselves here. Not a lot of blocking there against the cleaner. And if you don't block, you don't win. Exactly. There's the whistle. Sangalo Ku pushing through that Netherlands pack and it is another French lead jammer. Sangalo Ku who is lead jammer. Two consecutive now for France. Johnny B. Rude. Again, we see with the uh, successful jammers, when there is space, they attack the gap. That's exactly what Sangaloku did there. Attack that gap, change of pace, out of the pack quickly for lead jammer. Yes, now Sangaloku coming back into the pack on another scoring pass, dodging to the inside. He's already picked up five on the last pass. Now dodging again to the inside, a little bit of an apex hop there. And it's another five points, touch them all. Sangaloku and Team France. Fans, don't forget if you are watching this at home, use that hashtag, MRDWC, so we know you're watching. And stuff. Sangaloku, another five points. Now back inside the pack, going to the outside. Dodge just past one blocker, past the other, and skates past the third. Five more points, and France is now up commandingly making me look like a liar. <laughs> well, yeah. I think Oops. you've got honest eyes, champ. So I believe everything that you say. Sangaloku <laughs> making short work of the Netherlands defense. You'd think guys that wear glasses like us, you know, <laughs> we'd, we could see this better, but no. <laughs> no. I'm going my optometrist immediately. <laughs> Sangaloku now back in the pack, trying to split that Netherlands wall. French blockers falling all over the place. Looks like we might have a, an injury there on Mirage. Yeah. He is able to get up on his own power, though, and get back out there, so that's always a good sign. You never want to see anybody get hurt. And five more points for Sangalo Ku. And again. And again. Ku through with relative ease. Another four points, and now the jam coming to an end. I don't think they believe in sharing. <laughs> Poopa Test, putting on the star for France. He'll be going up against Lone Star. Sounds like a cartoon from the 80s. Well, you know, he, he likes to jam the radars <laughs> with the raspberry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's actually a prince, uh, so he can marry the princess. <laughs> Brave star. Yes. Yes. Strength of the bear. Yes. That's our, that's our producer, Holly Sheets, talking to us, giving us more information. And Puba Tess now going up against the front of that Netherlands wall. Lone Star alone back there, now getting some help in the back of the pack by Mastermind. Unfortunately, the mind was not as strong as the bodies of France. And they come out victorious on that. Puma Test picks up Lee Jammer. Yeah, gap opened on the inside for Puma Test. And again, a change of pace and a big attack of that gap. Out of the pack now is Puma Test. 
He's now back and back to the inside, just gets past that those Netherlands blockers. They could not catch up with him. Too quick to the inside. That's another grand slam. France really doing a great job of opposing their will on this Netherlands team. Now. Absolutely, and you can see the Netherlands pack. I mean, the, I think they're really just having problems with the jammers. They're not getting as much offensive help as you think. Yeah. These jammers are just cutting them in half. Definitely, I mean, I, I guess the, uh, the, the work from the French team is making it a little bit more difficult. As a jammer, I imagine it must be very beneficial Yes. Know that you can trust your blockers to hold the opposition jammer at bay. And that's another five points for Pupitest and Team France. Pupitest now goes back to the outside, dodging past one blocker. He's got two more to beat inside the pack. Star pass for the Netherlands. Not successful so far. Mastermind still has yet to, now he's putting it on, but still has not completed the initial pass. Whoa, a little bit of, get a little feisty there at the back Kenny of the pack. Cross at the back of the pack. Yeah. Putting in a blocking shift for France. That was a very good one-on-one -on -one there on the defense. Direction of game, play, penalty mm -hmm. for nocturnal damage. And Pupa Tessis continues this French onslaught. Scoring all the points on the jam and picks up one more for good measure. Why not? Just why, why not? Why not? He's, he's in Canada, the weather's lovely. <laughs> he's having a great time. Get okay, one more point before we call the jammer. He, he didn't want five. He just <laughs> yeah, wanted one. Yeah, yeah. Just one more. Cherry on the ice right there. <laughs> All right, 23 minutes remaining. 79 to nothing. France on top. Anita putting on the star. He's going up against Rocket Bush of uh, France. Anita of the crash test brummies. Of course, I'm sure the entirety of Birmingham locked in watching it, Anita putting it down, not only for the Netherlands, but also the crash test brummies. But on this exchange, it is Rocket Bush, who yeah. takes lead jammer for France. I don't know about, about the Bush part, but the Rocket definitely kicked in on that one. A Rocket Bush, Captain Borderline heading to the penalty box. Rocket Bush picks up five more points for France. Number 789 of France also heading to the penalty box. Bruce Woolit, Woolite, Woolite. Yes. Okay, you are much many, better with those names well, than I, I am. I, I, with ones like that, I'll just say it as many different ways as possible. You Cover pronounce the them so much more eloquently. The like, cut track penalty for Anita. He makes his way to the penalty box, meaning that France and Rocket Bush now with a roller derby athletics power jam. Yeah, you know, and this is, I believe, the first power roller derby athletics power jam we've had this bout. Or second one, excuse me, second one. And, you know, you'd usually see with the score like this, a few more. Yeah. But this is not the case. Just some great defense here by the French. Yeah, I think what they're doing a really good job of is just grinding away at the Netherlands. Yeah. You know, it's really putting them under the cart to try to turn that screw. What we've seen here from certain teams where there's been a blowout is that they've been very business-like. They haven't pulled any punches whatsoever, ever. They haven't taken any risks. Well, you know what? This is kind of a high stakes tournament. You're fighting against the world here. Yeah. You're, you're not gonna give anything up. You're just gonna, you're gonna give it 100% every play, every second. And that's another five points for Rocket Bush. It looks as though we had a star pass yeah. from Anita to Nicholas Rage. Yes. And Nicholas Rage now making his way to the penalty box for a full arms penalty. Yes. The penalty box, I, I'd imagine, as the jammer. So, that jam ends. So, of course, as we say, we haven't seen as many power jams. We get another one. Yeah. To, and this will be a power start, a roller derby athletics power start. There we go. Uh, with the cleaner putting on the star, he had it in the first jam and just, well, he lived up to his name. He cleaned up. Exactly. So, although I know somebody who stopped at the cleaner's house, <laughs> said it was a mess. So, how about that? Well, scores. maybe it's out of irony. <laughs> <laughs> scores 114 to France, zero to the Netherlands. Yes. Just under 20, sorry, just over 20 minutes of gameplay. A roller derby athletics power jam for France. Yes, and there he is, another lead jammer, the cleaner for France. Nicholas Rage standing in the box. The cleaner now back in the pack. He's got a full wall in front of him, getting some help from his teammates, who he pushes into them and is able to get through and pick up another five points. 
doing a good job of taking every advantage given to them by the, by the Roller Derby Athletics Power Jam, making sure they get some points out of there before Nicholas Rage is back on the track. Well, he is back on the track now, but he's having problems with Killian Crows and dodging past another blocker, so he does complete his initial pass. Netherlands gets a jammer out of the pack, but just not too little too late. And the cleaner calls it off. Yeah, I mean, what we're noticing from France is that, again, they're not taking any risks. As soon as that jammer completes his initial pass off the opposition, they're calling the jam dead, not prepared to trade any passes with the opposition. They don't want to give them any points. That's all. Uh, they want all the points. It's not Christmas, it's the no. World Cup. No, this isn't, this isn't the time for giving. It's the time for taking. Exactly. And you got you Piler out there against Sanglo Ku. Penalty boxes are empty. Sanglo Ku dodging past one, now to the outside. Able to stay in bounds, was he? We'll find out. Look at that, look at that tiptoe move. That was fancy, wasn't it? Yeah, that was like a NFL running back kind <laughs> yeah, of move yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah. Just with those hips and the movement, the it's feet. Like watching the show McCoy. Exactly. Good right. Seriously, just he tap, tap, tap and got through. And now gets a grand slam on his scoring pass. Sanglo Ku with number zero, Kendall Heroes. Kendall Heroes heading to the penalty box. For a cut track. Yes. Penalty, I believe. Yeah, he is the pivot. Ah, Yu Pilar making his way to the penalty box for a cut track penalty. Yeah, so now we have another Roller Derby Athletics power jam. Exactly that. Did a little bit of a star stash there, but it's still in his hand, so he is still the jammer. Dodging to the inside, Sanglo Ku picks up another five to the sky. Great Warfront. change of direction there, drop of the shoulder. Shook Captain Bullwright wow. out of his shoes. And some Serious yeah. direction changes from Sangaloku. Just look how his hips are, and his legs and his upper body are yeah. all saying three different things. Yeah. How do you defend that? I mean, just it's so difficult. Just when you're twisting like humans are not meant yeah. supposed to just twist that way. And you put it back on track now. And now he is back out there. The Roller Derby Athletics Power Jam comes to a close. And a big apex jump from Yupila yes. as he returns to the track. Sanglo Ku calls it off. And uh, we'd like to thank some of our sponsors, including Albor Alber uh, Alberta Sports Connections. The Men's Roller Derby World Cup would like to acknowledge the contributions of Alberta, Al Alberta Sports Connections, which helped to make this event possible. Just while we've got some time, we'll give a shout to S1 as well. The S1 Lifer helmet is the best fitting and safest helmet for roller derby. Get a lifer, be a lifer. S1helmets.com. That's very catchy, that one, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, that is a good yeah. one. So Anita, crash test brummies, and Netherlands is Anita jamming for the Netherlands. And Poopa test for France. Anita takes off the, takes off the helmet cover for a star stash. But he's still there in the pack. And Poopa Test to the outside. Picks up five more points for Team France. As we're approaching halfway through, the Netherlands still no score. 152 to zero. Seriously, I could not have been more wrong on my predictions before <laughs> this bout. I'm not going to hold it against you. Why am I keep bringing this up? <laughs> Poopa Test, one more to beat. Yeah, Anita slow to get up on that outside line. He Back did into the action now. Pupitas beat Halogene on the last block. Halogene got low. Pupitas went too far out for him. And now Pupitas back in the pack on another scoring pass. Anita still has not completed his initial pass. Look just how quick this French wall is moving back and forth and back and forth. I mean. This has to be infuriating for these jammers. Yeah, it's it's the defense of France. You know, they're, they're opening up some of the holes, but their jammers are really doing a lot of the, yeah. the heavy lifting themselves, and they're making it look easy. Poopa Test now going up against Halogen. And Crystal Maiden, he gets through for another grand slam. Halogen heading to the penalty box. For what looked like a failure to inform penalty. Poopa Test inside the pack, goes to the inside. Great blocking there by number 96, Freaky Vincent. 
of France to open up that hole for, the, for another five points. Taking a block from Nocturnal Damage. And just like the last time, he picks up that extra one at the end. <laughs> maybe that's his signature move. <laughs> it it must might, be. Maybe we should refer to it as the Pooper One. <laughs> the Pooper One. I like that. <laughs> Me too, actually. That works. I won't get it tattooed. We should tell the, <laughs> the Poopa one, just get it tattooed on you. I, I don't know how permanent I want that to be. <laughs> That's a little permanent. Rocket Bush going up against Johnny B. Rude, but we have an official timeout. A uh, team, or I'm sorry. And this timeout brought to us by RSC. The 2016 Men's World Roller Derby World Cup is sanctioned and issued and insured by Roller Sports Canada, providing insurance and support for all Canadian roller sports. Visit us at www.rollersports.ca or on Facebook at RSC Roller Derby. And we have around 30 minutes and 40 seconds. And of course, in these 30 minute games, during the timeout, the clock will not stop. The clock will not stop, the clock will keep running. So, you know, not only is it beneficial to get your breath back, but it's also some effective clock management from the opposition as well. And while we're being corporate, I just want to give a shout out to Rollline. Rollline, the Italian tailored skating experience fit on your needs since 1999. You know, when I think great tailoring, I think of, you know, fine Italian tailoring. Yeah, yeah yes, yeah. The best. Armani. Exactly. Rollline. All the greats. Exactly. All the stuff I can't afford. Yeah. <laughs> People keep asking me, it's like, what, what are you wearing? I'm like, that's not that. <laughs> you <laughs> not don't Armani. Know. You don't want to know. If only. <laughs> if only. Maybe one day. <laughs> Still in the time. I remember the time does not stop during these round robin rapid fire games. Because we're on a you know, very strict, tight schedule, yeah. trying to fit all these games here in two days. And then. For Saturday and Sunday, that's where we get to the regulation yes, play yeah. for the actual tournament uh, setup. These are the group, you know, for the group stages, it's different. And, and we do a final score on the on the bout before, or I'm sorry, the bout on the other track. It would be Canada beat Wales 99 to 54. Canada, you know, they, their offense has not really been what we expected it to be over this over yeah. this World Cup. It has been less. Then again. You know, if you look at the games that they've been in, Wales beating Canada, beating Mexico, well, I believe 77 to, to uh, 45. I mean, Mexico has some pretty good defense, but that shows yeah. also that Wales has some pretty tough yes, defense. Definitely. And Canada's defense, nothing to mess with as yeah. well. So that was really, you know, you saw with the, those three teams, a lot of really good defense. Yeah. And, you know, so that's where the, those three have probably, probably been, I'm not doing the math in my head right now, <laughs> Uh, nor do I have a calculator on me, but I'm guessing that those are probably the lowest scoring bouts yeah. for the, between the three. Well, that's the thing to remember is that, you know, the, these are 30 minute games and of course the dynamic changes. Yes. So we did in a, in a one hour long game, yeah. you know, we and can't how many, really draw anything from a 9954 score. And how, other many, than a how many times do you see a score like that, like, you know, like that in the first half and all of a sudden it's like 300 to yeah, 200 yeah, hit by exactly, the end of the second. Exactly. You know, sometimes in those second halves they turn, you know, something yeah. happens and the offense explodes. Well, that's it. You know, I've often heard it said momentum has no bias. So we ha do have a, we do have a ruling from the officials on that official timeout. Number 11 of France, Scare NX, has been ejected for leaping contact. So he will be ejected from the game. And bye. Yeah. Yeah. Au revoir. That's about all the French I know right Bilingual. now. Bilingual. That's about one of three words I know. Yeah. <laughs> Rocket Bush against Johnny B. Rude. As we're coming back, that timeout took a good almost four minutes off the clock. And I hate to say it though, but with this much time, you know, with this score like this, yeah, you know, I don't know how the, we do have a star pass immediately going from Johnny B. Rude. That would be to number 83, Nicholas Rage, who just wanted to be in this movie, and uh, but the jam gets called off. But again, you know, that, that brings us back to the point from earlier. France are gonna are going to call the jam if 
the opposition jabber gets out. They're not they're not gonna they're not gonna take any risks, especially no. at this point in the game, in this position in the position that they are. Exactly. There's no need. They just had a player get expelled, you know what? Even though they're up, 173 nothing. Kill the clock. Yeah. That's the safest move. Absolutely. Mastermind now going up against the cleaner. And the cleaner sweeping on through. He's lead jammer once again. They should give him a broom after the bout. <laughs> to you know, clean up all. Well, well. I don't know. Just he's cleaning up all those points, sweeping <laughs> them up and put them in his little dustpan and taking them home. <laughs> So he has another five points. Freaky Vincent heading to the penalty box. And Matt, and now the cleaner coming back into the pack. Little hop, skip, and a jump there by you, by you, Piler. In a direction of gameplay penalty for Captain Borderline making his way to the penalty box. Yeah, that was not borderline. That was definitely happening. So the cleaner calls it off. And 0 0 on that last pass. But yeah. France still scores more now, 182 to nothing. And a, a round of applause for you for the, the apex jump at the depth. And able to get any points for the Netherlands. And but, now, uh, yeah. spectacular nonetheless. And now well, the only man who'd give me the raspberry, Lone Star. <laughs> putting on the star for the Netherlands. He's going up against Sangle Oku of Team France. Lone Star is going to need speed of the Puma. Yeah. And strength of the bear for this one. Yeah, basically. So, and I do believe now, with eight minutes remaining, you know, this has been one of the longest scoreless straps we've seen so far today. Sangalo Ku picking up lead, jammer, hop, skip, and jump, and cutting it to the inside to pick it up. Lone Star deflecting a hit. Oh, almost gets in. Let's see if he was able to keep that foot in. I don't think he did. No, he has to recycle himself. Dodging to the inside, able to stay in bounds. Sangleo Ku, soft red blue, that was awesome. And I thought Aaron Ra was the only free to do. And now with the lead down of five points, Sangleo Ku, and a low block penalty means that Sangleo Ku also with the roller derby athletics manager. Yeah, the, and you know he's been taking advantage of it. Pretty much all of France has been taking advantage of this all about long. Another five points for France as they approach the 200 mark. And now go to the inside. Wow, nice little hop, skip, and a jump there, and able to stay in bounds. You gotta love those diagonal, yeah. those diagonal yeah. jumps, just because that's so tough to do. You basically have to be a human boomerang <laughs> to do that effectively. And look at that blocking there. He split the pack alone, and then just when when the Netherlands tried to reform, there was a French wall in the way, and you cannot, you're just not gonna do it there. It's a, at that point in the pass, it's over. Equally as impressive is. Sagalaku's awareness of where his limbs are. Yes. Using the inside <laughs> foot on the inside line to avoid stepping out of bounds. You gotta be very careful with that. Because yeah. even one little tap and you're out. Yeah. And if you try to put that foot back in, there you go, track cut. No, no power, no roller derby athletic power jams here for France so far. And a track cut. It looks as though the jammer returning back to the penalty box, Lone Star. Yeah, Lone Star. Cut track penalty. So another roll the Derby Athletics power jam. Yeah, Lone Star with the star stash. So still in his hand. Poopa test. Little start on this roller derby athletics power start. Yeah, and France is running a very steady four jammer rotation. And just they they found that rotation, they're sticking to it. And that's why they're up 211 to zero. Remember, France finished in fourth in the 2014 World Cup. They're they are one of the higher ranking teams. Um, you know, the number two European team yeah. behind England. So this is a team that you know we knew they were strong. We, but we didn't. We didn't. You know, I did not expect them to be like this in this bout. Like, no, nothing against France, but. I expected the Netherlands to make this a little closer. Well, this, this is a very commanding performance from France. Yeah. Uh, I mean, especially in lieu of the performance from Australia, perhaps uh, France looking to send a message to the opposition here as Fuba Test continuing to work his way around, driving against that opposition, looking for space on the inside line, but landing out of bounds and now recycling himself. 
Yeah, Mastermind. Oh, nice hit by Poopa Test. But that's going to be a forearm. Pit. He's going to head to the to the pow, to the penalty box. We have a Roller Derby Athletics Power Jam. The first Roller Derby Athletics Power Jam for the Netherlands. Let's see if Lone Star can get his team on the board. Let's see if he can get in that Winnebago. Well, they seem save Planet Druidia. <laughs> well, definitely, you know, this is a big opportunity for the Netherlands. They have to make this Roller Derby Athletics Power Jam pay dividends for them. Oh, and a low block is going to send Lone Star to the penalty box. So we're going to have a switch. And now with Poopa Test out of the box, we've got a switching power jam, or switch Roller Derby Athletics Power Jam. And Poopa Test spins past Mastermind, picking up five more points. With time winding down, about four minutes remaining. Now coming in the pack, was going up the middle, now dodging to the outside, tiptoes, gets pushed out, has to recycle. Now gonna come back inside. He's got a one-on-one -on -one good French offensive block in there. That's all they need to do on this Roller Derby Athletics Power Jam. Gets through to the inside on turn four, five points for Poupa Test and Team France. Kylian Cross doing a great job of opening up space on the inside line there. Yes, absolutely. And as we approach three minutes remaining, 226 to nothing, France on top. So, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to take some time to talk about the Wicko Skates. Greetings from Finland. Your feet caught. They need a hug. Best regards, Wicko Skates. <laughs> yeah? I love that. Because they hug your feet. Exactly. The, exactly. That's why. Yeah. I got yeah. it. I got it now. It's like Crocs, <laughs> but better. Anita with the star four. Netherlands and it is Rocket Bush for Team France. Rocket Bush goes to the inside now trying to cut up the middle, finding that hole to the outside as he jukes a little bit, picking up five more points in a grand slam for France. A cut track penalty you on know his I, way yeah. to the penalty box, meaning that France have another Roller Derby athletic power jam. Yeah, and you know what I noticed on that last jam? Go ahead. Koopa Test didn't get that final he one. Didn't get the he did not. One. No, he didn't. I'm going to have to have one, it? It's a really good thing we didn't get that tattooed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe he heard us say we were going to get it tattooed. He thought, no, I'm not having that. He thought we were doing it already. It was yeah, a really yeah, good yeah. joke. And no. Rocket Bush now back inside the pack to the inside. A little apex hop there. Five more points for Team France as we approach the two minute mark. Looks like he's getting a signal just to kind of run down the clock a little more. Anita out of the penalty box. Roller Derby Athletics Power Jam comes to a close. Rocket Bush is through. Five more points for Team France. And Anita at the back, battling against that French wall with the helmet cover in hand. Meanwhile, Rocket wow. Bush twisting and turning, looking for some space on the outside. And now the inside and back to the outside. He did a great Gumby impression, <laughs> followed by a great Wrecking Ball impression. <laughs> and that's the end of that jam. We are pro we might be in our final jam here, ladies and gentlemen, with about a minute 30 remaining. 2.50 to nothing. France on top, lining up at the Nerd Skate Shop jammer line. It's Slapzak going up against the cleaner. Slapzak on his first jam tonight as the jammer. And this will probably, you know, I'm thinking if the, if, as long as the cleaner gets lead, this is probably going to be the final jam. Yeah. I'm thinking it won't be if Slaps, Slapzak gets through and then the cleaner follows right behind. But of course, I've been very wrong about other <laughs> things before. Oh, so and a back block. Back block penalty for the cleaner. He goes to the penalty box. Slaps up with a roller derby athletics power jump past Killian Cross. Space on the, the inside. inside line. Trying to give it up right in bounds. He does and the pack lead jammer for the Netherlands. So now the Netherlands might be able to get on this board in this final jam. That's a you know what if you're gonna do it, this is the time yeah. you have to. Yeah. Because if not, there's no time left in you can't. Thank you, my inner John Madden. <laughs> so now slaps up on the approach. Everybody from the Netherlands oh. right away. Killian Cross down, but not out, straight back up. Slaps up now, loses foot and back up quickly. Cleaner out of the penalty box. He completes the initial pass. I think Slabzak's probably going to take this as far as he can. And why wouldn't he? I mean, At this point. Exactly. You might as well get as many points as your yeah, team as yeah. you possibly can. 
to help them out a little bit, give you maybe a little bit of momentum going exactly. into the next bout. And now the cleaner is on a scoring pass. The Netherlands, their defense coming together, but just as I say that, he twists, goes backwards through the pack in reverse like Ricky Bobby when he won that one race. Four or more points. And a five point pickup for Slapzog and the Netherlands. So unofficial final score, 250 to five. France showing off their strength, flexing that muscle and doing a great job of making, I mean, this was a statement win. This was yeah, not just, yeah, this was yeah. a statement yeah. win. That France is here, they're, I think they're looking right at England and saying, you guys were the top European team yeah. last year, this year, we want it. Exactly. And we're not gonna, and we're not gonna slow down for anyone. Yeah, yeah. Big win, big statement win. Definitely. From France. Absolutely. Wait for the scores to be confirmed, but currently 254 for France. Yes. Five for the Netherlands. So they did get that final four points, 254 to five. Next up here on uh, the Sisu track two, we've got it's Italy going up against Argentina. So don't go anywhere. The, the orange group for the last two final bouts of today here on the Sisu track two will be starting shortly. Well, well. for Holly Sheets, my name is Champ Unkind. And I'm James Brown. And you all at home, have a decent day. <laughs>